What's up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm big guy appetite and today you guys i am in tucson arizona i am here specifically to try out samurai sombrero you guys this is an amazing food truck that offers an array of sushi not just japanese style sushi but mexican sushi you guys have got to come try this place it looks phenomenal i'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of all their delicious food and let you know what we're eating today. In all of us, in our hearts, there's love and light that we must realize. We need to feel, we need to use this warmth that could make bright our lives. Let's go ahead and get started because I am starving. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands I prepared it. Father God, I want to thank you for linking me up with Gabby and Jesus. And I ask that you help them succeed in their dream of having this food truck, Father. Thank you, Father. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Okay. All right, Mama cannot wait anymore, you guys. <laughs> She's going to go ahead and dig in. Ooh, I have so much anxiety right now. It's not even funny because I'm so excited. This, um, y'all know I'm in Phoenix, so this was about a two, two hour drive here. So let me tell you, once I, I saw all this food, I was like, dude, I have to come here. You guys are gonna fall in love with not just the food, but also the owners. This is a, a family owned food truck, you guys. The uh, Gabby and Jesus are the most amazing, sweetest, and most humble, hardworking people you will ever meet. And um, I really suggest that you guys come give them a try, help support them. I'm gonna drop all of their information, the lo their location and their business info in the description box below. So you guys definitely come down and support them and make sure you let them know that Big Guy Appetite sent you their way. All right, you guys. So uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and dive right in to the popcorn lobster sushi. I mean, the name says it all. Okay. Oh my God. Mama, Look at the big you. popcorn lobster chunk. Oh my God. Wow. Insane. You guys do not be fooled by like the idea of this is a food truck food. This is restaurant style food, you guys, made with lots of love. And mind you, the owners did mention that if you needed anything or wanted anything customized or ha have it your way, they are more than happy to do that for you, accommodate you. Mmm, you gotta tell you. Oh my God. I have some over here. Mmm. You didn't get any of this one, my love? I didn't. Uh-uh. Just the, oh, you did? Yeah wow okay so now i'm gonna go in for this one this one is the um uh the some uh samurai this is a samurai this is a fried lobs uh sorry lo uh fried sushi roll and it does have shrimp tempura on top it's filled with shrimp and avocado mm. oh my god the front I love this little area too they have a lot of little picnic tables with the umbrellas 
and they have a lot of activities for you to entertain yourself here come with your pets come with your family your kids they have the little hacky sack thingy that you can throw they have the what is that called tetris or jenga the giant jenga they have tires kids can run all their energy out oh okay so this one is the mexican this is the mexican roll it looks like it has salmon cream cheese jalapenos and surimi which is the um crab salad and then it's lightly fried Oh my god! Wow. Wow. Another thing that I'm gonna tell you guys. Oh, is the prices do not compare to the amount of food that they give you. Like the quality. They are very affordable. I go to certain sushi spots especially one of my favorites and the sushi rolls are now $18 $22 $20 it's insane everything here is from like $8 to like 15 bucks you guys they are not skimping on the quality either okay so right here we have a Korean style spicy shrimp oh my goodness look at that this is some green onion Mm. Hi. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. Holy cow. The shrimp is not overly spicy. I, by the looks of it, I literally thought this was going to be fire. Like, extremely. Extremely hot. Very mellow heat. A little hint of sweetness. Mmm, you get that green onion flavor. And I almost want to say like a little bit of sesame oil. Or it could be the sesame seeds on it. All right, next, I want to dig into this fried rice, you guys. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Would you just look at it? <laughs> Would you just look at it? Wow. Okay, this is, I'm not even trying to, to overhype. Mm. I'm being honest. This is the best fried rice that I've had. The best. I taste flavor. <laughs> I taste flavor. Literally, there's like black pepper in there. You get, oh my God, it is seasoned perfectly. Oh, I'm sorry, mama. <laughs> I tried to shoot a, a little fly and a piece of rice went flying to my mom's face. <laughs> wow. Did you try the rice? Wow. And it has, huh? It has grilled chicken in it, you guys. Oh my god. Every order is made to order. Nothing is just sitting there. That is killer fried rice. Literally. Okay, now right here, this is the Las Vegas roll. Holy cow. Would you just look at the size of this sushi roll? That's almost the size of my palm. This has a uh, salmon, avocado, cream cheese, uh, shrimp tempura, it looks like, I think, and crab salad. Oh, no. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. And then to drink, you guys, we have a Ramon. Oh, my goodness. This place has really impressed me very impressive oh no hold on oh, i gotta get my lid 
<laughs> so this drink has a little marble in there and you push it down with this little thing so it just makes the drink fun i don't really know what the purpose of the marble is i don't know if it's to like preserve the gas in there or okay so as you can see you take the little apparatus out and you got your marble floating inside your drink cheers Japanese soda. Amazing. Can you pass me some of those drinks there? Oh, absolutely. They are delicious. Yeah, they are. Andalema. All right, now let's try this yakisoba noodles. Wow, these are Japanese, like chow mein, lo mein. Wow. Everything is packed with flavor. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I feel like what you know, small businesses, family owned businesses, I feel like they they really put more effort into their food because this is their their life, their livelihood, their business, their their passion you know when i spoke with the owner um she told me that this was hers and hers and her husband's dream to own a food truck and they saved and saved and saved and worked hard to accomplish buying it they've only been in business two months you guys <clears throat> and they are making their dreams come true i'm telling you this food you can tell this is their passion this is their their passion is in their food. Holy cow. Holy cow. Mm. Okay, now this is a caterpillar. Y'all know I don't like avocado. Except in my sushi. <laughs> Wait, we have sriracha. You guys, look at how cute. See what I mean? They spare no expense. They got the real sriracha. Like, honey, this is money, honey. I feel glamorous using this little fancy sriracha. Where my sushi at? Oh, right here. Oh. And you can put it on every single bite. That's how I like it. <laughs> and let's put a little wasabers. Y'all know I love my wasabers. So let's do that right there. And we're gonna do like this. And then we're gonna do like that. Mm. Woo! Oh! Oh, look, my eye watering. Damn! That was probably good. That was probably hot. Oh my gosh, mom. What else you want to sink your little your little teeth in? Everything is so yummy, so good. Wow. Mm. You guys come out here and let's help these young people fulfill their dream. Thank you. They're right here on 22nd and Pantano Road. So they're on 22nd, is that street? Yeah, I believe it's 22nd Street and Pantano Road. You guys are not gonna be disappointed. So yummy. Mm. I don't know which one's my favorite, but I love the big rolls. You know, that's my weakness. 
I love lobster. And what amazes me is for the price, the chunks of fried lobster that are on this bad boy, look at that, they are not skimpy, y'all. And it's not all just like breading or fluff. It's actual chunks of lobster. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Coming here, well, like I said, was a two hour drive, but it was so peaceful. As you're coming up here from Phoenix, you take the I-10 all the way here, and you just pass by beautiful desert landscape, beautiful mountains. Tucson is very, it's not like Phoenix. I feel like Phoenix lost its Arizona touch, Desert. the deserty touch. And I feel like coming down here to to Tucson, it's like you're back in nature again. Like, I don't know. It's what I would expect to see Arizona look like. Mm. And I love that they have the pink ginger. Oh, wow. Right here, look at the samurai. That's fried shrimp. Big, huge chunks of fried shrimp on top. Oh. Right here, this is the dragon roll. This is the dragon roll. Mm. What's that on top? Oh my God, no way. Shut up. The dragon roll has breaded deep fry or breaded fry uh, tem tempura. I can't even talk. Wow. Oh my God. It has tempura eel on top. Mm. Wow. Mm. And then this one is called the pancho. This one is avocado, cream cheese, shrimp, shrimp tempura, and then it has like crispies on top. Mm. Wow. You guys have un, you guys out outdid yourselves. Really? Absolutely amazing. Okay. My goodness. You can really taste the passion right. you guys have for this. In the food. Está delicioso. Which one you like better? That's what I was telling the, my audience right now. I'm like, I don't know which one to pick that I like better. They're all equally good. But you know I'm a sucker for my for my baked rolls. Right. I love the um, the lobster popcorn one. And but samurai. this one, the samurai, oh, oh. my God. Good. It is insane and it's so crunchy. Yeah. Oh. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. My mom. I she's just been going ham. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> so gassy. If you like a soda that is gassy, 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 like my gassy, gassy, yes, you got to get this. Okay? You got to get it. Did you Did you hear? I just literally rhymed it, but that's true. If you like a soda that's gassy, 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 like my gassy, gassy, gassy. Because <laughs> you know, honey, I be getting gas. Mama got gas in her ass. <laughs> Let me see that lobster over here. Oh my god. 
Look at that. Big old fat chunk of lobster. You know, I don't like lobster. I don't know. Lobster. And this is so yummy. My mom is not a lobster fan, y'all. Mm -hmm. Look at you. She just took that whole big old piece of lobster popcorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Handle it, mommy. I'm so, I'm so glad that I'm able to do this and experience this with my mom. You know, it's it's such a uh, such a shame that my older siblings don't. Uh, and again, sorry not to bring this up, but it's it's sad that they don't have like a you know a close relationship with my mom for whatever their reasons. And but I'm just I'm grateful because then that gives me the opportunity to spend every waking moment <laughs> with my mom, even though she's a little pissed. I have her spoiled rotten, rotten. Literally, I'm like, mommy, here, you know, here's, um, I'm just because I love you, my here's a hundred dollars, and she'll be like, mm. and I'm like, thank you, and she goes like this, <laughs> ah, playing around, and then she'll turn around, she'll be like, I'm just kidding, me, oh, thank you. She's a witch. Yeah. Hers a witch. But that's the relationship me and my mom have, very playful and sarcastic, and you know, I love. To be around that environment you know where you're able not to take yourself too seriously mm. Mm. oh my god so creamy every time i tried this the samurai there was a burst of cream in my mouth thank you i didn't understand where that was coming from I understand now. It is topped with a big dollop of spicy mayo. My all-time fave. Mm. Unbelievable. Wow. I know I said I didn't have a favorite. I'm gonna have to say the samurai. Pretty damn good. Oh, I guess that's how you drink it. Mm. So I don't know if I said this already because I'm already delusional. But mom, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you rate this? Honest opinion. Honest opinion? You know me. I say the truth. Oh my God, I'm kind of scared. 20. Shut up. Yes. Are you serious? I'm serious. A 20 out of 10. <laughs> Dude, my mom is brutally blunt. And that she scares me sometimes because she leaves me in some embarrassing moments uh -huh. at restaurants or with other people where she's like, mm, I could have had this. I could have been better. Or, like she speaks her mind. You scared me right now. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, you guys, it. this is definitely a 100 out of 100, 1,000 out of 1,000, 10 out of 10, 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 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my God. Well, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm so glad that I'm able to make these memories with my mom and travel, take her with me. This is such a blessing. My BGA crew are loyal and supportive. And I am just so grateful for them youtube has absolutely changed my life and it has has given me the freedom to do you know what i want to do without having to be micromanaged without having a boss or a superior barking down my neck 
You know, I worked for many, many years. I've been working since I was 15 years old, a nine to five, working for the big man, working for someone else. And now I get to make my own hours, my own time. If one day I'm lazy as heck, even the following day and the following day after that, if I don't want to film for two or three days because I want to be a couch potato and eat a tub of ice cream, I could do it without someone saying, oh, you're going to be fired or you're going to this, you're going to that. I really want to encourage you guys to get out there. You have nothing to lose. Make your YouTube channel. The difference starts with you. Bring your personality. Be yourself. Be your true, authentic self. Have fun with it. You know, don't get on camera and, you know, be monotone and all that. Just have, be your best, fun, enthusiastic self. Have fun. I love what I do. This is amazing. I have met some amazing people. I have worked with amazing people. Wow, look at that. We got the sombrero roll. The owners of Samurai Sombrero are the most humble and kind people I have encountered in a long time. Come and help make their dream come true. And, and let's get their business popping, y'all. Let's put them on the map. If y'all want the best Mexican sushi in Tucson, Arizona, you gotta come here to Samurai Sombrero. Let's go ahead and give this a try. This is a sombrero roll. Oh my gosh. So this has cilantro, shrimp tempura, cream cheese, topped with avocado, and sweet sauce and spicy mayo. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Oh my god. Is there jalapeno? Oh my god. Yo. Jalapeno and cilantro. It don't get no mix. No more Mexican than that, y'all. Come get your Mexican and your Japanese sushi at Samurai Sombrero. You're not going to regret it. And let them know Big Guy Appetite sent you their way. Hmm. Oh my God. That jalapeno is a perfect touch. All right, you guys, we are gonna leave it here. Once again, I will drop all of the information to this rest, to this food truck in the description box below, their hours of operations and where are they located. If you guys wanna come help and support, make sure you come down and order all of these amazing rolls and dishes. You guys are not gonna regret it. All right, guys, thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.